In 2019, I was one of a lucky few who successfully drew a Wyoming resident bison license. Man, was I excited. For the next four months, all I can do is visualize how my hunt was going to go down and how it was going to be the most epic hunt of a lifetime. It's something I'd be telling my kids and grandkids for years to come. I was visualizing my bison story. But to understand this story, you also need to understand the entire 2019 hunting season. I've never shot a deer, let alone a mule deer buck with my bow, so that was always a dream of mine. And on opening day, I had a chance like with a my tree. son. And I missed. I screwed it up. So the rest of September kind of came and went. We hunted a whole bunch. My son joined me on a lot of these hunts. And we just couldn't close the deal. No elk, no deer. We also went right through rifle season. Didn't get a deer as well. Well, finally, on October 5th, I was able to fill one of my cow tags. Just happened to be on one of those mornings where it put down a little bit of snow. I got out of bed late. But on my hike in, I just got lucky and there was a herd right there. So it felt really good to get a tag punched. Need some more coffee? Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. We had some family and friends join us for the general season. My stepdad, Rick, and Mel and Dan. And it started off fantastic. On the second day of the hunt, so we just got Dan word. got himself a nice uh, five-point bull. Dan got his bull. He found it. Sweet. What? Holy cow. Sweet. Two days later, on October 19th, Rick and Mel both tagged out with cow elk. It would take two trips to pack out the elk. The first trip was a success. The second trip might have changed my life forever. After I took this picture of Dan in 20 more seconds and five more steps, this happened. Of all things, Dan had set his phone to hyperlapse to take pictures on the way out. And as he came back to me, he found me laying on the ground in pain. Okay, so things have taken a little turn for the worse. I rolled my ankle, packing the meat out. I think something's broken. I heard a pop. I don't know, but it hurts bad. And away he goes. It took three hours for me to make it one mile back to camp. So hours later, we made it to the local small town clinic. My kids got a kick out of the bloomers I had to put on. So the x-ray showed I had a fractured fibula about four inches below the knee. My inside ankle had fractured a few three millimeter chips off. And my ankle, I also had something they called syndemosis. So I learned I don't like crutches. I definitely don't like compression socks. I don't like needles. Thank goodness for my wife. That one hurts. 18 days later on November 6, I finally had my surgery. And here's my final product on my ankle, where I have a tight rope. So I have a metal plate on the left side of my ankle and two anchor plates on the right side with two wires going through my fibula and tibia to hold my ankle back together. So I had told my foot doctor I was still going to bison hunt. And six weeks later, on December 21st, still 0% weight bearing, we were going. I had some friends and family come along, and we were going to get out there and go try and find ourselves a bison. We are going to give it a go, head out there. It's warm, it's sunny. <laughs> but we found out you could ride electric fat tire bikes on the National Elk Refuge. So we're gonna give Four. it a go. And these bikes were fun, even if on the first day I almost ran over my hunting buddy. 
What I'll remember the most about those last two weekends in December as we tried to hunt on the National Elk Refuge was the friends, the family, my oldest son even got to join me one day on the refuge, the thousands of elk that were beginning to migrate, the wolves that were howling, and just the preparation that went into actually hunting for bison. By January 8th, I tried snowshoeing at 50% weight bearing because there was a few bull bison in the area. That was pretty tiring. So to understand the bison hunt, throughout the month of January, there was only about 20 bison that were even close to public land or the National Elk Refuge. And they were all killed by That's other it. hunters. I'm, done. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't get this done this year. And then I got lucky. Another bison hunter I had befriended gave me the call on the 27th that there was a bison migration coming. So yeah, 3 a.m. the next day, I'm on my way back to the refuge. This time I pedaled my own mountain bike in four miles and set up at a location hoping bison would come to me. That's nice because I'm a little chilled. I was a long ride in, a long snowshoe ride. I'm kind of in a spot right now where I kind of see down this hollow. Show it to you right here. So the buffalo are a little slow moving. They're not like elk and they'll run three miles. So it might take them time to come over these hills on either side of me and maybe they would come into here. And then all of a sudden a bison showed up the other side of the hill and I could see at least 20. The problem is they're moving away. They didn't come up to the left. There they are right there. Unfortunately for me without a camera crew and with my cameras dying in the cold weather, I didn't really capture almost any of the action at the end. But I think this makes it pretty clear what happened. Got a bison down. It's them. Right over there walking away. The bull's down on the left right there. Or cow, I don't know, but it's... I'm good. Oh, guys. Hey, guys. So, anyways, here we go. Here's my bison. Cow bison. I mean, it's just too cool. Up close like this. So, as I reflected back, as I mentioned, I had a dream. I had a vision for how my bison hunt was going to go down. It was going to be epic. It was going to be a story I will be telling my kids and my grandkids for years to come. And it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But you know what? This turned out to be my story. This is the story that was meant for me. This turned out to be my bison story. The bison came on the refuge. This is the second to last day. No, it's Wednesday. Third to last day. It's Wednesday. It's going to close on Friday end of the month just incredible and just truly incredible so thankful this is <laughs> a hard time this is not an easy hunt